I came into this empty studio, not knowing anything about the strangers that I was about to meet, only that they were linked to gambling. Football was the love of my life. That's when I first got introduced into gambling. I was 18 years old, and that started with a job in a bookmaker's. I never actually noticed just how stigmatised gambling harms was in today's society. Stigma is a massive issue in relation to gambling harms because we know that it's one of the biggest barriers to people actually seeking treatment. About one in five of us think that we probably know someone who's experiencing gambling harms. I couldn't put any money value on it. What I lost was time. Yeah. I lost my family. I started hiding how much I was gambling because I was embarrassed. Mm. That was a transition to shame. I was so lonely, so, so lonely. Some of the conversations were similar to what I'd had before with my brother. From the moment I entered this world, he was always my idol. As we got older and he became at the age where you can go down to the bookies, it turned into a real big issue. A lot of people may be suffering in silence, feeling isolated and feeling like they're the only person that's experiencing this. My friend, I have shared everything with her and she never knew I'd ever placed a bet in my entire life. I decided to tell her. I stole money from my son. I had to explain it to him, there was no other way. And... The stigma around gambling harms can make people feel isolated, it can make them feel lonely, but the minute that we start to understand that little bit more could be the difference between somebody reaching out and getting better help and support. It is a public health issue. There's lots of help out there, but if people are struggling with that fear of stigma and fear of telling people, know that there's confidential places that they can go to to seek help. I found a women's only facility. For the first time, I found other women who were the same as me. I realised that there were other people in the same mm -hmm. boat as me, and, and that was a great comfort. I wasn't on my own, and I, maybe I could get better. My brother's gone like full circle on his journey, and he still is and forever will be my idol, and I'll always look up to him. Gambling addiction still has such a shame and stigma around it, and that's why people don't, don't talk and hide it. A good place to start where people can find information about lots of different resources and, and help services is the GamblerWare website. It's completely changed my mentality now. We should be able to talk about it. Let's open up about gambling.